Hello, hello. Today's Manchester United news and transfer news includes Eric Ten Hag is close to agreeing a new contract. Manchester United have a bid rejected for a PSG midfielder, plus a rundown of all the latest transfer news. Stay tuned for all the DLs. Before we get into that, please consider giving the video a like and let's get straight into it. So let's start with strikers. So obviously the latest on Joshua Xerxes is there is no latest really. Um, Tuto Sport, uh, an Italian outlet, have come out saying that Manchester United have communicated to Bologna that they want to pay Joshua Xerxes' release clause um, and deal with his agent. That's the kind of latest. So it's still a bit of a standoff regarding Xerxes. I think there's still negotiating going on. We did hear that he's um, not going to make a decision until after the Euros, which is fair enough. Um, so apart from that, that's the only real update that we've had in regards to Xerxes. I did hear this story earlier as well, which I, I kind of put on here. Surely this is not true, but it says Manchester United is showing an interest in Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Everton value the striker around £40 million, which... Come on, let's let's behave ourselves. Do you know what I mean? Like Calvert Lewin, when fit, is a decent player. Forty million pounds, like, yeah, I'm gonna file that straight in the BS category immediately. Um, it was funny actually because I thought, well, I'll research it. Let's play devil's advocate and we'll look into it, right? And I just always assumed one. I thought Calvert Lewin was a lot older than he is. Um, but secondly, I thought that he had horrendous injuries this season, but turns out that was last season, the season before. He only missed six games this season, so um, his injury record this year has not been too bad. But seven goals, two assists, £40 million. Uh -uh, not for me, thank you very much. Um, now, bought news the other day around um, young defender from Boca Junior called Aaron Anselmino, who we've been linked with multiple times in the past. There were rumours that Chelsea were sniffing around like they are with all of our transfers um, recently. And this report comes from um, TYC Sports, who are an Italian, um, Argentinian outlet, where they claim that um, Boca Juniors believe there is a concrete chance United will submit a proposal for centre-back Aaron Anselmino in the coming days. It said that they've already made a £14 million bid, which is being considered by Boca. So according to that outlet, Manchester United have already submitted a bid for £14 million for Anselmino um, and are in concrete talks with the clubs. I like the idea of that. I think it's about time we broke into the South American market and started looking at these up and coming gems um before they move on to like other clubs in Europe and then we end up getting getting linked with them for like 80 100 million pound release clauses so i do champion the fact that we are looking at who's meant to be one of the best up and coming defenders coming out of south america right now i don't know a great deal about ansamino there's not a lot of data about him because he's not played that many games but all the reports and everything like that that I've read and researched. He is meant to be a really good um, hot prospect coming coming from Boca. So it would be a really good statement of intent from Ineos to go out and buy one of the best up-and-coming defenders from South America and a real switch in direction for United because normally we don't go for these types of players. We let them go to like Benfica and then end up having to pay 60, 70 million pounds for them further down the line. So it'll be interesting to see how that develops. There could also be a chance that that is just linking us with United in order to increase the offer from Chelsea, who are looking at the player as well. So we've got to bear that in mind. But let me know what you think about Anselmino in the comments. Now, let's move on to Eric Ten Hag. So it's been a couple of interesting stories regarding his contract recently. Um, so first one comes from the time where they're saying that Manchester United are progressing with their discussions over a new contract for Eric Ten Hag and hope a deal could be finalised before they head off on their pre-season tour. Rob Dawson from ESPN kind of confirmed the same, saying Manchester United are hoping to agree a new contract with Eric Ten Hag before the start of their pre-season tour in the United States. Negotiations are complicated, but conversations between the club and Ten Hag have progressed well. And then um, the next report is from the Times, where they're saying that um, Eric Ten Hag's new contract at Manchester United could include a promise of a new coach with the possibility of Ruud van Nistelrooy joining. So obviously I bought that news yesterday about van Nistelrooy potentially coming in as a coach. Reading between the lines, it looks like Eric Ten Hag, they're obviously in negotiations for his new contract. Um, 
it's going to become more of a head coach role. And apparently as part of that, Eric Ten Hag has requested a new coach to join his team. And that's looking more and more likely that it might be Ruud van Nistelrooy. Um, and then an exclusive coming out today from Fabrizio Romano has said that Eric Ten Hag is set to sign his new contract at Manchester United as deal is now almost agreed. Contracts are adv- advancing to final stages this week with his agents to finalise terms. There will be changes in the staff with Ruud van Nistelrooy a strong candidate as revealed. So the exclusive from the Van Nistelrooy News originally gener- um, came from Fabrizio Romano. So that's good. One, that obviously we, we've got some clarity around the manager situation, but two, if he is allowed to bring in some more coaches, that can only improve us as well, as long as they're of the quality. And Van Nistelrooy, I think, is a quality coach because he's um, he did really well at PSV and helped develop young players not only was he a, a great player for us as well, but I spoke about that in yesterday's video. Um, massively exciting, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. And just quickly, there's been a couple of updates on Sancho and Greenwood. So the ref- first report comes from Sport saying that Barcelona have offered the chance, sorry, have been offered the chance to sign Jaden Sancho, a profile that Hansi Flick really likes. He could be an option if deals for Nico Williams and Luis Diaz collapse. Now, reading into the report, it doesn't mention anything about fees and it was kind of suggesting that they could look at him as a loan option because we all know that Barcelona have got really bad financial fair play issues. But then I thought about it, I was like, well, if they're going for Nico Williams and Luis Diaz, they're not exactly going to be cheap either. So maybe they do have some funds available to buy players. Um, and it's the latest we've heard around Sancho because it has gone a little bit quiet on him recently, but definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, And then iSport have said that three Italian clubs are preparing bids for Mason Greenwood. Napoli have um, joined front runners Juventus and Lazio in the race for his signature. Signing a new forward is a top priority for Manchester United this summer and therefore a quick sale of Greenwood is their preferred route as they edge closer to bring it in a replacement. Um, Obviously, we had news yesterday that Manchester United have rejected an opening bid for Mason Greenwood, which was around 20 million euros, which uh, rightly so we've rejected. There's there's more and more interest. So it's looking likely the Greenwood deal could be getting done within the next week or two. Um, But let me know what you think about, about that in the comments. And let's move on to incoming. So Manchester United... Um, want to sign a new central midfielder this summer and Manuel Ingarte is one of the number of players they're looking at. So that story originally came from Sky Sports. Then we had um, this journalist come out who works for um, L'Equipe, really good French outlet. And they would confirm that PSG have rejected an initial offer from Manchester United for Manuel Ingarte, which was deemed too low. Paris is open to negotiations and other clubs are interested. And then they also said that Manchester United have an ongoing off. uh, So I made an opening offer to PSG for Manuel Ngarte. It's been rejected, but negotiations are still open coming from the same, the same outlet. Now at the time of recording this, there have been other journalists. Ben Jacobs has kind of confirmed the story as well. He's probably one of the most reliable journalists that have come out confirming that story. Um, so it is looking like Manchester United are starting to move on midfield and have submitted a bid for Ungarte. What do you think about that? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Ungarte, I think, is a really good player. Actually, this is one that I'm kind of not getting giddy about because obviously it is just the initial, the rumor stage, and you don't know what to believe and who to believe at this moment. But he is a really good player. We were linked with him heavily last summer before we moved from Sport into PSG for a deal that was worth, I think, 60 million euros off the top of my head. But he's not played too much for PSG because they're, they're quite heavy. Did they not buy... Um, they bought a couple of midfielders as well. Um, so I think his game time has been a little bit limited. Um, so apparently they're looking to... Or they're, they're willing to accept a bid for him. 23-year-old Uruguayan... Um, great defensive midfielder he's not necessarily the most progressive midfielder though but if you want someone that's going to shield the back four then he would be a really good option um when i looked up top 99 percent are for tackles top 96 for interceptions and top 95 for passes completed which kind of shows a little bit around what type of midfielder he is not very good progressive player or carries or progressive passes so he's not a He's not um 
like a Manu type midfielder, someone that can thread the ball through the lines. He's more like a stopper, like a a, a really good defensive stopper. Um, really good option. Fee is not mentioned how much we've initially bid, but Paris would want around fifty million pounds, I think. So not a bad price considering we've bid for fifty five million pound for Jao Neves. So we clearly have around that sort of budget available for a midfielder. I take him over Edson Alvarez, younger, um, kind of fits the mold of being young up and come in, player 23 years old, going to be cheaper than Edson Alvarez as well, who's the other midfielder we've been heavily linked with. It's interesting because PSG are heavily linked with Jao Neves. They're one of the only clubs that can probably um, pay his release clause. United are not going to go anywhere near that sort of price for Jao Neves. So it's really weird that we could get in Garte. And then Paris could use some of the money to then go towards getting Neves, which would make me a little bit jealous, I've got to be honest with you. But we'd still be getting a fantastic player, in my opinion. So this is one that's developed really quickly today. There were multiple stories that came out, and then it's like a domino. More and more people getting involved and kind of confirming the deal. So it does look like you're not, that this is um, or that the interest is genuine. Um, I think he'd be a good signing. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Um, and and yeah, for, for me, massive positive that we're looking to make strides. So that's three. We know the key three positions really this summer are going to be defense, midfield and striker. So the three names really that you can say that we've, we've bid for, Branthwaite, clear interest still there, still talk of us going back in. Xerxes seems to be like the striker option, although part of me feels... I don't know, I just think like we might be getting a bit played by the agent on that one, but he's the most heavily linked player with us in terms of striker and now bid made for Ngarte. So we could be about to get those three positions. Obviously, it's going to take time and we don't know how this story is going to develop, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But if imagine if that was our summer, those three, and then anything else we supplement with, with player sales. So that's why moving on Greenwood, Sancho, Lindelof, more stories today about interest in wan these sort of players, and then that money we can use to go out and get a left-back or another midfielder or a winger and so on and so forth. So um, I'll obviously keep you posted on any developments. So that was all for today's Manchester United news and transfer updates. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I do read them. Um, don't forget to smash us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. See you in the next one.